The devaluation of the Egyptian pound and the higher tariffs and taxes led vehicle prices to more than double in the last two years. But Parliament took a different approach towards clean energy-friendly electric vehicles. It has reduced the tariffs and taxes on it and is facilitating the introduction of electric cars to Egypt. I'm at the first electric vehicle charging station in Egypt, one of 63 to be established here. This is still new in Egypt, but it will be a game changer, not only for the car market, but for the whole economy. With economic austerity measures at the moment, owning electric cars might be a better option for consumers and the government. You save a lot of money. When you charge the car, it costs 25 Egyptian pounds and lasts 250 kilometers. With normal cars, the same amount of fuel will cost 250 pounds, 10 times more. You also don't need any maintenance for the engine, filters and oil. This is all the money saved. You can even charge the car at home or anywhere else for free using a normal plug in the wall. Subsidized fuel consumption will also go down, relieving a huge burden of the state budget. The vehicle charging stations are the first step before launching electric cars in the Egyptian market. We are installing 65 stations in seven governments around Cairo and Delta. In 2019, we will go to South Sinai and in 2020, Upper Egypt. By then, we would have covered 90% of all the country, roads, cities, everywhere. Aside from the vehicle charging stations, Revolta is also the only importer of the first batch of electric cars to the country. While others in the market have shied away, this company believes there is a future here. Already, already we already have 500 electric cars sold and will be delivered in June. We expect by the end of the year to have sold at least 1,000 cars. Some people are a little bit afraid to buy electric cars because it's still new. But once they try it and feel its advantages, demand will be very high. Banks have also agreed to provide payment facilities for electric car buyers. This will give a boost to sales and higher market access to the new vehicles. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN, Cairo.